The new president of BYU-Hawaii, Keone Kawe, not only carries on the legacy of his ancestors, but also hopes to fulfill an extraordinary vision from David O. McKay, that a university in the Hawaiian Islands would become a place of global unity. It's been a while, are you excited? The number one thing that I'm excited to be back in Hawaii for is ocean time. <laughs> Surfing has been an amazing way for our family to spend time together. It's also a really wonderful way to teach important lessons. Um, one of the most important ones that I've talked about with the kids is you're gonna go the direction that you're looking. You stand up on your surfboard and you see someone in front of you and you try to dodge them while you look at them, but the physics of surfing is that if you're looking at them, you're going to hit them. I've been teaching the kids, look the direction that you want to go. My name is Keone Kawe. I am the university president at Brigham Young University, Hawaii. I was raised in Hawaii and in Utah. And so for our family to come back here and do something meaningful, that's a dream come true. My fourth great-grandfather, Kaleohano, uh, was one of the first Latter-day Saints to move to here to Laie with his family. He left behind land and resources that he had command of to come to Laie and build a community and serve people. How do I carry on his legacy? I need to be willing and capable of making those same kinds of sacrifices. The most important thing about coming back here is honoring that legacy of faith that Kaleohano started. President David O. McKay, as a young general authority, was touring the world. And when he was here, he attended early morning ceremony for the local school children. And he related that experience and talked about a feeling he had when he saw people from so many parts of the world gathered together as one in Christ. That impression led him to feel very strongly that there needed to be a university established here to train children from all of those places to be leaders, to bring the capacity to have peace internationally. So that's really been the foundation of this university. We have been charged with being an example of unity across many cultures, but that's a difficult task. We generally have over 70 countries represented here on campus any given semester. I would love to be able to say that we've been able to see, you know, perfect unity across all of campus. You know, we're, we're not there. How do we achieve something that the whole world has struggled to achieve? look the direction that you want to go. The gospel parallel there is so obvious. Who are you looking toward? Are you looking toward the Savior? And as I look to lead the university, it's certainly my desire to do it in a way that preserves and celebrates the culture of each student who attends, while also emphasizing the role we have as children of God to create an environment where people are one and in Christ, we address that challenge very directly. So we have an activity called Culture Night. This year's Culture Night will have more than two dozen clubs performing in their native dress, traditional dance, and sharing that with each other. But what you'll find here at BYU Hawaii is the main dancer for the Samoa club might be a Korean student. Someone front and center in the Hawaiian club might be a European American. And here at BYU Hawaii, we want that and celebrate it. And what we're trying to do here is love each other's cultures and have a real exchange because that's what unity means. 
And if our students are gonna be successful in their faith and in their careers, they need to love and communicate with people that don't have the same backgrounds that they do. Is there room for me today? Can I join you guys? I think that every person who walks on this campus feels there's something special. What that really comes from is our students have a fundamental love for each other and gratitude for what this place represents. We always consider the Aloha spirit. And so when I think of Aloha, I think about a people who had no guile, who had no desire to exclude, but said, if you're with us, then we're with you, and let's do this together. Ha, ha, ha.